One of the ways you can format a cell table is with the Table Styles feature. This feature enables you to apply predefined styles to your table to add color and other formatting options quickly and easily. Let's take a look. To get started, click the Tables button on the ribbon. The first thing to do is to check the settings under Table Options, which is this area right here. You could use the top four checkboxes to tell Word which parts of the table should have special formatting. For example, if your table has a header row, as this one does, you might want that row to be formatted differently from the rest of the table. The same goes for a total row at the bottom and the first and last columns. In our example, the only special part of the table is the first row, so we'll make sure that only that checkbox is turned on. I'll turn off this first column option here. Next, you can specify whether you want the Table Styles feature to use banded rows and columns. Banded means that Word will apply alternating colors. So banded rows means that every other row will be a specific color, and banded columns means that every other column will be a specific color. For now, we'll just leave banded rows turned on. Next, let's look at the available styles. You could point to the Table Styles area and click a button at the bottom to display a menu. There are quite a few different styles. You can actually scroll down and see even more of them. Their main difference is color. Choose the one that you like. I'm going to try this one right here. Now, as soon as you click that button, the entire table is formatted. You could see the banded rows and special treatment for the first row. Here's the banded rows. We've got like a pinkish color, white, pink, white. And then the top row, the header row, has different treatment to it. If you don't like this formatting, you could choose another one. So let's pull this menu down, and maybe I'll choose one of these blue ones. It's actually a little bit too similar. Scroll down a little bit further, pick this one maybe. Now if you don't like the banded feature, you could turn off that checkbox, and you notice that all these samples change. So you can now pick one without the banding. Now you're not stuck with this formatting. You could pick one that you like and make changes to it so it's perfect. You do this by selecting cells and applying various formatting options that I cover throughout this course. If you decide you want to remove formatting, just choose Plain Tables from the menu. So I display the menu again, click Plain Tables, and it goes back to the way it was. So as you can see, the Table Styles feature is a quick and easy way to format a table. If you like a lot of color in your documents, it's a good place to start but you can always format a table manually, applying your own formatting options to table cells to achieve custom results.